Okay, I want to show you how to make a dual coil setup for your OD. I'll take two resistance wires. I'm going to take one end and twist them together. I like using the tweezers because you get a nice tight twist. Alright, get the one end, twisted like so. Take the non resistance wire. Make a little hook. I take the hook and go in between the two resistance wires. Hook it. Just like we see on the video for the point .9 um, dual coil. I'm basing all this off of that video that most of us have seen before. Let's see, and I take this part squeeze it down make it nice and flat I take my tweezers like this hold right at the part where it comes together and go around. Alright, and then we have the excess that we want to clip off. Right here. Let's see. Stand up. The nice end. Take the other side, do the same thing. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, I just dreamed I used. Oh. Wow, did you hear what I said? I heard what you said, Jackie. Hmm. And it wasn't All a dream. Right. You sit right there and you took a pill and made a fool of yourself with your boss and then came over here and slept it off. Keep them nice and separated. Wait, I just woke up this second. Just now, I didn't try. Alright. Okay, now we're going to measure resistance from the non resistance wire to the twist on the other end. I get 1.8. Uh, see, 1.7 bounces. So that gives me about 1.5 ohms. All right, so that's that's about ideal for what I like. Now you can also make the non <clears throat> you can also make the resistance wire a little bit longer to whatever you feel like making your coils at. And take this, make another hook for the other side and put it in between the two non-resistance wires like so take the little end Oops. Twist it around the already twisted resi resistance wires. Now fold this piece under. A little pinch.
do a nice wrap around I think I saw this on one of Emio's videos take the wires I'll get them a little separated here run them all the way down I like taking it across my finger and pulling it it's a nice and straight now I take two pieces of wick stock silica wick it's like you get from Bruce or whoever your GG dealer is and I just pull them keep them straight just keep going around you really don't have to worry about your spacing quite yet you want to get them nice and snug, not too tight to choke off the liquid. A little bit stiffer to work with than the single coil. Yeah, it looks kind of sloppy right now. Back to the other side. I like to tighten that side up a little bit. and push them together alright this is what we end up with alright 